But here's how I make Finny responsive. So I use something called Tailwinds and I break it down into like XS, SM, MD, LG, XL, um, which are just like different breakpoints. I configure these in Tailwinds. Right. I guess I just use the defaults for the most part. Here it is. You can also define other ones. Tailwind doesn't have XS for like super small screens, but I find that can be kind of useful. And then I also have a couple others because screening is very big. I also have support for vertical breakpoints so that whenever I shrink the page vertically, it also has a couple of these. These can be useful if like, for example, you're showing the uh, input um, because you're like in an input field or something, you get that little keyboard that pops up on mobile. And what it ends up giving you is something that looks kind of like this, where it can just shrink and shrink and shrink all the way down to something really, really, really small. Not all of Funi is quite that responsive, but that's kind of what you can get with media queries and stuff. There's a few other things you can do. Um, one thing you notice is whenever I shrink this, the cards get small. There's a CSS trick that's involved in this. Um, basically, you're using a transform to scale the image down, but then you're also using another thing. I believe it's like another transform thing, um, which translates the location of it based on how much you're scaling it by. It's a little bit more fancy, but you can see that if I don't do that, everything gets bigger again, right? Then there's also other stuff that I do. So for example, if I go down here, you'll notice that this page counter thing is at the bottom, but then when I shrink it down, it appears at the top. And this is just called order. So anytime you're in like a flex box or something, you can use like order one, order two, order three, and the elements will be listed by their order. If you don't specify it, the order is just the order that you've got them in the DOM. So like the first thing that's in the DOM, this is the DOM. Um, that'll be on top, followed by the next thing. And we can just play with this real fast to show you. So let's say I take the order here, which is set to one currently. And let's just change it to like order five being important. You see it moved down to the bottom. That's kind of how it works. I use this in a few places. Um, so like whenever you're in a game, not this one, but like a different one, let's just say four in a row, you'll notice there's like this thing on the left, this thing on the top, the thing on the right. And then as you scale it, that's a bug. I need to fix that. Which I thought I fixed. I fixed this. I, f I definitely remember fixing this. Okay. We'll, we'll get to that. Anyways. This just uses flex order and some other fancy stuff to make it work. This can't end up on YouTube. Oh, because of that? You can just edit that part out. So edit the part out where it goes to the right. It's just like... Off. Um, anyways. Like and subscribe. Follow for more content. Watch me on Twitch.